You know, my left side is the good one. Sorry, um, it's just that the, the Save light. Save it. Whoa. Y you could have started a brush fire. What are you, a Cub Scout? Uh, Eagle Scout, actually. Even better. I know you. You're in my linear algebra class. Sherlock Holmes, ladies and gentlemen. You were the only one who passed the test last week. Wouldn't want that one to get out. Sorry. Do you mind if I use that last shot? Knock yourself out. It's just that the... The, the light. light is... I get it. Well, I'll see you in linear algebra. Is there something that you wanted? No, I... Because it I, seems like you want something. Well, I mean, I, I was going to... Want to see I, the freak? No, I don't think... No, that I get freak. it. I'm fascinating. Well, you Come are, on, but... Come on, out with it. Out with what? Okay, that I'll ask for you. Where on earth did you get that hideous scar? Are you waiting for your letter to Hogwarts or something? It, it's actually Hogwarts. And they call me a freak. That, that's not why I'm here. Then what do you want from me? You're wasting my time. I've been watching you in school. <laughs> well, creepy, let's slow down. No, no, I mean, I've been watching you in school, and I think that you're very interesting. Would you like a shovel for that hole you're digging? Look, all I mean is I think you're the kind of person who would make a great subject. Okay. Now it's weird. What, do you have some kind of secret crush on me or something? No! No, God, no, no. <laughs> not, not that I don't think you're beautiful or anything, because, I mean, you totally are. Like, you could be a model or whatever. <laughs> not that I think you're just beautiful. It's just I, I can appreciate beauty because I see you as more than beauty. I mean, you're also smart. Like, AP linear algebra, come on, that just screams nerd. Crap. Not that you're a nerd. It's just I'm a nerd, and I'm in that class. And now I'm bragging. No, I'm not bragging. I just, I know what kind of dedication that class takes. Not that I whole, think your whole life revolves around AP Linear Algebra, because, I mean, duh, it doesn't. You probably have a lot of friends who you're waiting for right here, right now. And, um, I'll let you get back to them. But first, I really just needed to ask you about this thing. Wow, you're scary. <laughs> I, I, I mean, not scary, just, like, intimidating. Not that I don't think you're approachable. It's Dude, just, you're I, taking up all the oxygen. Sorry. Uh... I have social anxiety. <laughs> Never would have guessed. What do you want from me, kid? Well, um, I want you to be the subject of my documentary. Your what? My documentary. It's, it's like a movie that you film. I'm not an a... idiot. I know what a documentary is. Right. <laughs> AP Linear Algebra. What's it for? A uh, scholarship for NYU. Sure. Really? Yeah. Because, I mean, I totally understand if you have, like, other things you have to be Dude, doing. Dude, or... I said yes. Stop overanalyzing everything. Sorry. See you around. W wait, what about my movie? Tomorrow. Same time. Sounds great. You're late. Are you timing me? You said same time. I didn't know what time it was. But you said that we would I know what here. I said. Jesus Christ, get a grip. Sorry. Dude, stop it. Sorry. Seriously, it's like talking to a six-year-old and you're embarrassing yourself. It's the, um... Social anxiety. I got it. Yeah, it, it gets bad when I'm nervous. I make you nervous. No, no. 
Yes, I do. You do not? You're so nervous, you're sweating. Uh, well, I actually just went swimming. <laughs> you don't swim. I do too. No, you don't. Yes, I do. What's your favorite stroke? The right stroke. <laughs> the right stroke. Yeah. That's not a thing. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Okay, fine. You know, maybe I'm a little nervous, but it's only because you were late. And we've come full circle. You said same time at 341 yesterday, so I assumed you meant 341 today. You're actually insane. And you're late. Maybe you're just early. No. No, I'm not early. I've been here for exactly 27 minutes. It's now 408. Dude. Take a chill pill. I made it. Let's move on. But we, we have a schedule. We have the to... The ship has sailed, man. Either get on it or hop off. Fine. Okay, um, we should get started while the light's still good. Uh, for the first take, I'm gonna need you to stand here on this bench. Why? Because it looks mysterious. Seriously? Just get on the bench. Fine. Okay, uh, now just like turn your head to the left a little bit and just like gaze across the horizon. <laughs> gaze across the horizon. Yeah. <laughs> so I look mysterious. Well, yeah, that's the point. I just need you to to gaze across the horizon. Exactly. They call me a freak. What? Nothing. Okay, let's get started. And action. Does this movie take place during an earthquake? No, no, <laughs> not at all. No. Do I look mysterious enough? Yeah, it's perfect. Knew it. So what's this movie even about anyways? You. That's a little creepy, even for you. It's about the social aspects of high school as seen through the eyes of an outcast. So you think I'm an outcast? No, not, not like an Sick. outcast. Uh, could you turn your head to the left a little bit? Like that? Yeah, uh, yeah, just like that. All right, cut. All done? Yeah, yeah, with this bit anyway. You mean there's more? It's a five minute movie. <sighs> this is exhausting. We've only been working for 57 seconds. 58 now. I have to interview you. I thought I was supposed to be mysterious. You are, but <sighs> it's like in the requirements. I have to know stuff about you. I want to see these requirements. All right. And action. How old are you? This is a joke. Just answer the question. I'm 17. And how long have you lived here? In the train station? You live here? <laughs> yeah, kind of homey, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're kidding. <laughs> Are you like special ed or something? No, no, okay. I meant how long have you lived here in Youngstown? Since I was 11. And why did you move here? My mom died. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. But still, I, I shouldn't have. Are you just going to feel sorry for me, or can we move on? Uh, so, um, how do you like living here? <sighs> it's like living in a deep, dark hole. I mean, talk about Hicksville. Texas is one thing, but small town Texas? It's a wonder I haven't offed myself yet. Well, why do you stay? That is the million dollar question. For your dad? What about him? Do you stay for him? Of all the things to stay for, he's at the bottom of the list. 
You don't really mean that. You don't know what I mean. I'm just saying, he's your dad. And I'm just saying we don't choose our parents. So we should love them, right? I mean, they cook and they clean and they like work and do stuff for us. You do realize us. the whole world isn't all rainbows and unicorns, right? Yeah, I guess. The world sucks. People suck, kid. They use you for their own personal gain. And then when they're through with you, they throw you out like last week's newspaper. Your world isn't like mine. It's not all freshly mowed grass and warm milk with your cookies. What's it like? Different. Do you ever wish that it weren't? Every day. Can I ask you one? Well, the, the movie's not Do you ever about... wonder what it's like when it's all over and done with? What, you, you mean like when we die? No. No, that's bad luck. I do. Kind of freaks me out. What? This idea that when we die, that's it. Well, that seems a little anticlimactic. What do you think? I haven't really thought about it. Gun to your much. head. What do you think? I guess if I, like, I mean, I guess if I had to say something, I would say everything. I think everything happens. I think we get to, like, be with the people we love and just spend eternity with them until they die. And then after that, we can just do whatever we want and just be whoever we want to be and just be happy. That's kind of beautiful. Thanks. What about you? Who are you? Uh, it's not really in the requirements. Answer the question. Well, I'm me. What about you? I like math. I like movies. What kind of movies? Good ones. Like the kind you remember until you're dead. or at least senile. Like The Wizard of Oz or Jaws. The Wizard of Oz and Jaws? Really? Well, it's the best I could come up with on the spot. Why movies? Well, I'm not really comfortable enough around people to be a doctor. <laughs> My dad and I used to watch them a lot. It's kind of our thing. He, he travels a lot, so he doesn't really have a lot of time. And whenever he's home, the only way we could spend time together was to watch movies. What's your dad like? Oh, he's, he's awesome. He's like the smartest man I've ever met. He, he's the one who actually convinced me to take AP Linear Algebra. And even though he's always gone and everything, he really loves me and my mom. What about your mom? She's amazing. She's like this chef at this restaurant downtown, and she makes these peanut butter chocolate brownies that are like insanely good, and her lasagna's to die for. But then she's also really smart. Like, I'm pretty sure if she wasn't such a good cook, she could have cured cancer by now. And she just tells the best stories, and she's just always there, you know? She's like the best mom in the world. And cut. I am not using that. Why? It shows depth. Because it's not in the requirements. Have you ever broken a rule? No, that looks bad on college applications. Seriously? So you've never, like, cut loose or snuck out before? I can't. That's it. Tonight, meet me here. Midnight. Uh, what for? Gang initiation. Yeah, you know, I think I might have a paper to write or something, so I'm gonna have to I'm going. kidding! You better be here, tonight. No excuses.
don't kill me! <laughs> that wasn't funny. Calm down, it's just me. I, I could have gone into cardiac arrest or had a, a heart attack or a stroke or at least had a hernia or something. I'm I mean, pretty I sure none of those things could have happened unless you're secretly like 50. Well, I'm 17. So we're good then. Here. <laughs> Is that alcohol? Calm down, it's root beer. Oh. So, uh, what do we do first? I don't know. But I thought we were gonna break the rules. We already have, we snuck out. Oh, right. Now we chill. Oh, want one? No, I don't smoke. Good choice. Are we gonna, like, do anything. Like what, rob a bank? No. Oh. I, I just thought that when you invited me out here, you had some sort of big plan or something. I don't plan. So we're just gonna sit out here and drink root beer. And chill. Right. I, I really shouldn't be here. Calm down. What if my mom, like, comes to check on me or something and finds she that I'm won't. not there? But what if she does? Will you shut up? Your mom isn't gonna go and check on you, trust me. But how do you know? Because my dad never does. <laughs> then again, dad doesn't give a damn about me. <gasps> well, crap, you're screwed. <laughs> your, your dad cares about you. I mean, he's your dad. <sighs> don't make assumptions about people you don't know, kid. I'm just saying, like, he would miss you if you were gone. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He will when you're away at school next year. I'm not going to school, kid. Why not? It's not my style. But, but you're like the smartest kid in the class. I heard a rumor that you turned down valedictorian. So the rumor mill does speak the truth. Who would turn that down? I did. But schools love stuff like that. What part of I'm not going to school don't you understand? I get it, I'm just No, saying... you don't. Not everyone has $50,000 lying around to pay for college. Well, there are scholarships. Not enough. But if you just applied... No! It... Screw you. <laughs> what, are you afraid of rejection? Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Being rejected, not like I've ever felt that one before. Not when my classmates were to kill me about my brain and my appearance and everything else I do. You think you have me all figured out, don't you? Look, that's not what I'm Bite saying. Bite me, that's exactly what you're saying. You think I pretend not to care? Reality check, kid, I genuinely don't give a damn. But if you just applied, maybe you could get out of here like you've always wanted. You could go and be a doctor or something. Who are you to lecture me about my future? I'm not lecturing you, I'm just saying- No, you have... no, you come in acting all high and mighty with your NYU admission ticket and your video scholarship worth God knows how much and think you have the world figured out. Well, kid, you don't. Chances are, ten years from now, you'll probably end up in some washed-up L.A. bar hoping some studio head manager comes in and asks you about your work. Newsflash, they won't. You know, all you do is pretend like nothing matters. You, you, you smoke and you probably drink and you refuse to take your future into your own hands. And with the way things are going ten years from now, you're probably going to be dead. Screw you. Screw you. Screw your stupid wait, little wait, movie. Wait, I wait, quit. Wait, wait, no, I didn't. no, it doesn't matter. Don't talk to me anymore. Wait.
Holy cow, are, are you okay? What the hell are you doing here? I, I wanted to apologize in school, but you wouldn't talk to me, so I've been waiting here since three. That looks really bad. It's really none of your business. You're seriously bleeding. You could need stitches. It's whatever, to... okay? Ow. Here, why don't you let me? No, I, I got it. You're, you're only making it worse. What do you know about anything? I know how to stop the bleeding. Don't touch me! I have to if I'm going to stop Ow! The... Sorry. Here, why don't you come and sit down? I think that ought to do it. This doesn't change anything. I'm still pissed at you. Yeah, I know. Oh, um, what happened? I fell. No, you didn't. It's your dad, isn't it? I can handle it. You need to report that. Who cares? I care. No, you don't. You don't even know me. That, that doesn't mean I don't care if you're getting the crap beaten out it of you. It means you should mind your own business. This isn't the first time he's done it, is it? Screw you. He's the one who gave you that scar, isn't he? So what if he did? It means he's assaulting you, and that's grounds for arrest. I don't need you to come in here and play hero. I can handle myself. Obviously not. You're bleeding. You'd bleed too. Look, you need to talk to someone about this. I don't need to do anything. Yes, you do. Have you looked in the mirror recently? I don't need you to save me. Well, someone's got to. No, they don't. I've been perfectly fine all by myself. I don't need you to come in here and play hero. You're not my knight in shining armor, kid. I don't need you to bust into my life and save me. Get over yourself. Life isn't perfect like you think it is. Ask me how I got this scar. No. Ask me! How did you get that scar? He did it. One night, he came home drunk. And I mean, really drunk. Like, wasted. He stumbles in, and the first thing he sees is me. So? He grabbed me by my hair and threw me on the ground. And while I was lying there out of breath, he started to kick me. He kicked me over and over and over again. I started counting in my head. One, two, three, Four, five, Stop it. six, seven, eight, on and on until I got to 27. Then I guess his legs got tired because he stopped. So he grabbed me by my hair again, only this time he had this knife. I was so proud of myself, I saved it up for him for Christmas when I was little. And he used it to cut down my arm. And then my leg. And then my face. I'll never forget what he said to me that night. While I was lying there, out of breath, out of tears, he said, now you don't look like her. Now you're worthless. I was 10. I didn't know. No one did. Do you need somewhere to stay? No, I don't want anything from you. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want your pity. Just leave. You shouldn't be alone here. I won't be. Shouldn't you, like, see a doctor or something? I saw an Eagle Scout. That's close enough. 
It's coming. What? The 1145 Boston to Houston. You memorized the train schedule. <laughs> I like to pretend I'm on the trains. Racing off to some faraway destination. Really? Lame, huh? No. You, you like to pretend that you're anywhere else but here. I get it. It's coming. What? The train. Yeah, I know. Hey, listen, um, so I know you don't want it, but I thought that you should at least have the chance. It's the application to MIT. I remember you talking about wanting to go there in one of those class presentation things. Thanks. You're kind of creepy. I know. I'm glad. I, I do care about you, you know? Oh, now don't go getting all excited because I'm vulnerable now or whatever. I, I'm just saying, like, we're friends. I consider you a friend. Friends care about each other. Maybe I hate you a little less. Really? Maybe. I didn't mean any, anything I said the other night. Y you were just like... Stubborn. Yeah. I know. Do you mind if I stay here a while? No. Are you going to tell anyone about your dad? I told you. Are you scared? Terrified. Of your dad? Of it all. Do you ever wonder what it's like? Up there, if it's, if it's easier, you know? Uh, you, probably not. I mean, you'd have to be an astronaut. I always wanted to be an astronaut. I always wanted to be a ballerina. Or maybe a firefighter. No, go astronaut. Way more prestigious and much better pay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, astronaut it is. I bet it'd be cool. Up there with the stars. I'm afraid of heights. Hey. I like the t-shirt. I got it. The t-shirt? The scholarship. Oh. Really? Yeah, 5,000 bucks, NYU Film School. Only 5,000? It's better than nothing. 
So you're going then? Well, yeah, I mean, I'll be drowning in debt, but at least I'll be happy. I'm glad. What's that? Uh, your birthday present. My birthday's in November. Yeah, I know, but I'll be at school. Oh. So you're giving it to me now? You couldn't just send it? I... I guess I could have sent it. <laughs> why didn't I... Why didn't I think of that? Calm down. I like a good gift. Hey, uh, you can't open it now. You have to wait until I'm gone. Okay. There's something I need to tell you. I, you can open it now if you really want to. It's kind of important. Well, actually, no, you should really wait. I was going to call you, but I lost your number. Wait, actually, open it now. Are you even listening? What? I'm leaving. When? I'm catching the 11 o'clock to Boston. Tonight. You're leaving. Yeah. For real? What, did you expect me to live in this hellhole forever? Well, no, but I thought that you may be... I'm taking like... your advice. I'm getting out. Where are you going? MIT. Some idiot checked the scholarship box in Penn. They gave me a full ride. Aerospace engineering. That's great. You're a terrible liar. No, I, I, I really am happy for you. Thanks. For everything. So I guess this is goodbye then. We'll, we'll see each other over the summers. I'm not coming back. Well, I'll come and visit you. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Let's not pretend this was any more than what it was. But we, we still... It's been great. It's been great. Yeah, it was great. I, I owe you. No, I owe you. Let's just call it even. Okay. Can I open it now? The present. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Whoa. I hope you don't mind it. This is, this is too much. No, it's not. W will you put it on me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like it. I mean, it seemed like something you would like. Would, would it be totally weird if I said that I was going to miss you? Yeah. yeah. But you can say that I'm awesome. Well, I wouldn't want your head to get any bigger than it already is. <laughs> All right, well, you have a train to catch. I do. Do you really think we're friends? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. I've never had a friend before. <laughs> Thanks. For everything. Anytime. So, goodbye then. Bye.